Hello. I didn't see you there. I know, I've been gone for literal months and um, that is inexcusable, as always. I really apologize for that. Um, I feel so bad, like actually. Um, summer has just started, so hopefully I will be able to make more videos more often, considering that school year is over. And I want to make being gone up to you guys, because you, you know what this is? You want to know why I'm dressed so- Is it really necessary to make your engine that loud? You want to know why I'm dressed so fancy for? Is because today is the 100 subscriber special that I've been promising you guys for literally ever. So let's make that happen. Hello beautifuls, welcome back to Counting by Sevens. Life is hard, so let's take it one week at a time. And today, I am answering all of your questions. <laughs> to be clear, I am answering videos from the comment section in the YouTube video that says announcements. If you put a question in there, then I am definitely going to answer that. I am also answering questions that my friends have given me at school, and also questions that my family members have given me. So if I am able to put the question up on the screen, I will. And if it's just written down, then I'll do my best to show you and I'll just answer it anyway, so let's go. Okay, first up we have, how old are you? I'm not really comfortable sharing how old I am, but we will say that I am somewhere between 13 and 475. So take your guesses, I guess. <laughs> Our second question is, why did you start YouTube? I got asked this by a few people, I think two in the comment section and a few people in real life. I'm not really sure why I started YouTube. I I have a lot of stuff that I do, a lot of art, a lot of music, and I really liked it. And since I liked it, I wanted to put it out there to see if it would make other people happy because I know it makes me happy and if I can make myself happy with something like this, then I thought how great would it be if I could make other people happy with things like this. That's kind of why the name of the channel is um, Counting by Sevens, you know, the, you know the intro. Hello beautifuls, welcome back to Counting by Sevens. Life is hard so let's take it one week at a time. Life got really hard at some point and all of these things that I did for fun became the things that I needed to do just to get through the day. And I would tell myself, if I can get through the day, then I can get through the next one. And if I can get through a few more days, then by the time I've gotten through all these days, I'll have gotten through a week. And it adds up. If you can make up through, if you can make it through one day, then you could probably make it through another one, and it adds up to weeks, to months, to years, to the rest of your life. So if I could figure things out one week at a time, eventually all of those weeks would have led up to my entire life and I want to be able to share that sentiment with you guys that if you can make it through a week, just one week, and you can do that over and over and over again, things won't be that hard. You just gotta take it easy and you gotta take it one week at a time. The next question is who inspires me? I'm inspired by a lot of people. Most of the people that I'm inspired by though are the like connection between them all is very strong women with the exception of my pops and my grandpa. <laughs> There's a lot of strong women in my life. My aunties, my cousins, um, my mom, my, my grandma, my sister, even though I'm not sure you would consider her a woman yet, she's very strong, very beautiful. All these passionate people who teach me to be who I am and to accept who I am and you know, you know. The one thing that my mother always says about my family is that it's full of like stupid, crazy, strong women. Like there is nothing that could tear this family down even if it tried to. Like it would have to go through so many people just to tear us down. And of those people, this family is built up of crazy, resilient women. Like it's, <laughs> there's, there's like the line between crazy and courageous is blurred, but they make it work so well together. They're like really crazy and brave, and I really don't know what I'd do without them, or if I'd be this like... This what, Mia? What is this face? What is this? Without them, you know? <laughs> so all those women inspire me. 
my grandpa. My grandpa inspires me. We all have this one person in our family. It's the one person that we kind of go to. Um, if something's broken, we're like, we need you to fix this. And I'm pretty sure he gets really, really annoyed by it like all the time, but no matter what, he's always like, I can do it. And there was one time I remember we were at church and two people had gotten a flat tire and he fixed their tires the best he could and there was one woman where unfortunately like we couldn't fix her tire she had to get her car towed and as he was fixing her tire spraying i don't know what it's called i'm not a car person i'm an art person i'm a music person i'm not a car person but he was spraying the thing and it's supposed to like patch up minor holes and tires this is editing Mia, so I looked up flat tire repair liquid and apparently it's called fix a flat. It like fills the holes with the liquid and then it like seals as a solid. So back to the video. And as he was doing this, this woman pulls out like $40 and tries to hand it to him. And like at first he went to grab it because he thought he was handing her something to fix the tire. Then he looked and he went, oh no, 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 I can't do that. And she was like, yes, you can. You're helping us. Like you're using your materials to help us. Like, I really appreciate you. Please take this money. He was like, no. I'm not, I'm not taking your money, I'm not doing it for money. Like, my grandpa, he does things out of the kindness of his heart. And that... That's really inspiring. We say it all the time, we love our grandpa. He leads us in prayer before we eat. He leads us in life. He sends these really cute, like, inspirational messages to the family group chat. And it's... <laughs> he's just the coolest, dude. Like, everyone adores him. He's such such an amazing man and I hope that I can embody that as I grow. And my pops, he inspires me. Um, he's not my biological pops, of course. We may not be connected by blood, but we're connected by something that's a lot stronger than blood. And that's, that's love. He's, he's a dad to me, you know? He's really funny, really smart, really resilient. He's also gone through a lot of hard times and he's still come out of them. He inspires me every day. He's amazing and he gives really good hugs. I want to give as good hugs as he does. I don't know if that's something I should aspire to do, but I do. I want to give like Pops level Papa Bear hugs. You know what I'm saying? Is a hot dog a sandwich? I feel like this question is powerful enough to start a war and not like a small war, like a war of catastrophic size and magnitude, so I'm gonna tread very carefully around this question. A sandwich is just something that's wedged between two pieces of bread, which is kind of weird now, now that I think about it because there's open-faced sandwiches and that's just like one slice of bread, so I'm assuming it's just something that's on a piece of bread. And a bun is bread, so technically that makes hot dogs and hamburgers a sandwich. Scientifically, by definition, it's a sandwich. But if I ordered a sandwich at a restaurant and was given a hot dog, then I would be upset. All squares are rectangles, but not all rectangles are squares. I'm trying to, sp I'm being so careful with this, I don't want to get flamed. But yeah, if I asked for a sandwich and got a hot dog, I would be upset, even though technically a hot dog is a sandwich. So I'm going to leave that there. Start a war in the comments if you want. Just uh, be careful, be nice to people, be nice to people, be courteous and kind. The next question is, why do you not upload? That is a good question that I cannot answer, but let me break it down for you. I get an idea for a YouTube video. I halfway make this idea a reality. Something comes up like homework or oh my gosh, I'm hungry, and push YouTube idea to back of brain and make sandwich or do homework. While making sandwich or doing homework, I think, man, I never finished that anime. I go to finish anime. I never finish anime. YouTube video, gone. Poof, doesn't exist. So this channel is called Counting by Sevens and it has now become Counting by Months and or Counting by Years, but <laughs> I'm gonna try and keep a regular upload schedule. I can't promise anything because every time I promise it to you guys, I break that promise, so <laughs> Rock in a hard place here, people. This question is very, very deep, 
and I don't really know how to answer it myself, but what do you like and dislike about yourself? So I like very basic things, like I like the way I look. You can't, it's undeniable, I'm just... I'm just gorgeous. I guess I'm kind of funny in a way. I think I am at least. <laughs> and I have some talents. I can sing and make art. People say I'm nice, which is good. I hope I am. Um, I, I don't know what I'd do if I was mean. That's not very nice. I want to put positive energy into the world. I dislike that I'm overly emotional and I also dislike- the list goes on dude. Like I dislike the way I handle situations. I dislike how I overuse my friendships, I dislike how I prioritize some things over others and completely forget things, like the YouTube videos. I dislike a lot, but um, I've been looking into, into this concept of shadow work. It's a psychological and it's become a more spiritual concept with time. It's this idea that everything that you don't like about yourself and like, um, I don't know, just that like darker side of you that you never really like to show people, that side of you that you don't like, your shadow, this like area of just ew, gross, why is that even a part of me? Um, shadow work is basically acknowledging it and coming to terms with it. This one thing I saw with the shadow work exercise was finding what you dislike about other people and finding what you dislike about yourself and making that connection between the two because when you come to terms with what you dislike about yourself, you can realize that it's a part of you, it's not separate like a shadow, it's it's part of you and you just need to acknowledge it and make sure you know that it's there and realize that it's not that bad and once you realize what's wrong with yourself and how you can come to terms with that, you can come to terms with what you don't like about other people and you can come to terms with that as well because when we don't like something in somebody else, it's pretty much us reflecting what we don't like about ourselves onto other people and I think that's really really cool but um I got carried away with this what even was the question what I like and dislike about myself yeah so I like I like my stuff and then I have my other stuff which is my shadow and I'm trying to come to terms with that so overall there's not things that I like and dislike about myself I'm just myself and I will learn to be okay with whatever I am and just be at peace with myself and when I can be at peace with myself, I can be at peace with everybody else and that's the ultimate goal here. I distinctly remember the way this question was stated because of the person who said it because of reasons, but he- <laughs> Okay, Miss Fashion. <laughs> What's something that will always be in fashion no matter how much time passes? One thing that I've found has been in fashion for years is Converse. Converse have never gone out of style. They've been like the same style for 40, 50 something years and everybody still loves them, everybody still wears them. Just, they're never going away. I don't think they are. Maybe they will? Because there was a time when parachute pants were in fashion and they thought that was a good idea. Now we know that it isn't and that it's not. So the concept of fashion will change. Maybe right now I think chucks is a good idea. Maybe 50 years from now I'll be like, haha, I remember when I wore high top chucks. <laughs> we'll see. You never really know. Overall, what I think will never go out of fashion is confidence. If you wear something with confidence, then it looks good. It's, it's a nice look on you. So no matter what you do, as long as you're confident with it, confidence will always stay in fashion and that is what starts trends and such. What is your zodiac sign? My camera fell over, I am so sorry, but um, so my zodiac sign. I am a Cancer Sun, and I know your sun is like your main thing that everybody focuses on, that's what your like main sign is or whatever. I'm not really good with zodiacs or like astrology in general. Um, that's, that's my friend Rhea's jam, so usually when I have a question about this, I usually go to her. So Rhea, if you're watching this video, if you want to like correct me in the comments and let me know what all the placements and all that jazz is, I would absolutely adore that. Educate us. Shine, shine some light on the situation. I'm a Cancer Sun, a Gemini Moon, and a Rising Leo. I remember Rhea said something about how your sun is how other people see you, and then 
your rising is how you view yourself or vice versa? I don't really know. He told me that Leo risings usually have nice hair and bubbly personalities, so... Rhea also told me, I'm gonna be referencing you a lot, girl. Uh, she told me that the reason I have so many Leo friends or the reason that I get along so well with Leos is because I'm a Leo rising. And I was like, I don't know how that makes sense, but like, cool, dude. Like, she's a Leo and she's my freaking best friend. I'm pretty much gonna be living with her over the summer. You're gonna get so tired of me, but that's okay. I still love you. So yeah, that's that's my sign thing. Interpret that how you will. I love hearing about it. I've, I've never really delved into it myself, but I love hearing other people talk about it because when people are passionate about astrology, they just want to tell you as much as they can, and I think that's so cute. Can you do more guitar covers? I love the E minor chord, but yes, I can do more guitar covers. Um, I'm working on some covers. I promise I am going to do some this summer. Uh, I'll also do ukulele and I can try acapella. I thought about it. I was going to do a cover of a Disney song and like acapella, but we'll see. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna pull more covers out of my butt. I just gotta figure out time to. Um, if you have any songs that you want me to sing, put them in the comments, dude. I'll definitely like check it out and try and sing something, you know? The next question is, why do it be like that? I don't know why it be like that, but it do, and if it do be like that, then we just gotta be like that with the that that it is. Life will always be like that, and I'm sorry that it's like that. It sucks, I know. It could always be like something else. You have no control over what life will be like, but you have control over how you will be like to life. And while we may not be able to control what happens to us, we can control how we react to it. And ultimately that will change the next step in how things go, you know? There's a plan for each and every single one of us. And we just, though it may suck, and it, it, it really be like that. <laughs> you just, you gotta give it time and you will realize that it will be like that because maybe in the future, it'll be like this, you know? It'll get better, I promise. You just gotta roll with the punches while it be like that. The very last question, the next question, which I think is really, really pretty and that I will leave it off on. Um, it's kind of like boring, very self thing. It sounds like an icebreaker almost, but it's where is your favorite place to think? My favorite place to think isn't even really a place. It's more of a time. My favorite time to think or place to think in a way is when the sun is setting. No matter where I am, if I'm inside, if I'm outside, if I'm at the beach, if I'm at the park, if I'm cleaning up garbage, if I'm cleaning my room, if I'm making dinner, I like to look at the sunset and just think. I made this thing up for myself where the reason there's sunsets is because I made it through another day and the world is rewarding me for being able to make it that far. So if I can make it through a day, it's really good because the world will congratulate me and it'll give me a really pretty sunset to look at as a way of saying, good job, you made it through another day. Since you made it through this day, if you can make it through another one, then you can see another sunset. Or how many times the sun rises and it looks at the world and it sees how messed up the world is and how like absolute garbage it is. The sun still goes down and it looks really pretty and it says goodbye and it says I'm going to come up tomorrow and hopefully things will change. I feel like I can do that too. Even though things may suck, I can still rise like the sun and see if things will get better and then leave my mark at the end of the day. Like, just, you know, you know. <laughs> but yeah, if the sun can do it, then I can do it too. And then when I do, make it through another day, I can see the sunset and I can sit and I can think about how great the next day is going to be. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I'm sorry if it sucked. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not used to doing things like this. I've never done a 100 subscriber special. I guess it's something you only do once in your life. But um, I appreciate you watching. I really do. Thank you for subscribing if you are subscribed all 169 of you, haha, <laughs> I adore you, you are strong, you are amazing, you are worthy of love, and you better believe it, okay? You can make it through today, you can make it through this week, you can make it through next week, but don't even think that far ahead. Just focus on getting through today, focus on getting through this week, and you're going to be okay, I promise. Life is hard, but we're gonna take it one week at a time, okay? I'm gonna see you really soon, next time that I upload. Thank you for watching once again, and goodbye, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mwah.